So uh, Lauren left this morning and told me there's a cat on the roof. So yeah, there's that. Happy Monday. Um, don't know how I'm gonna get this cat down. Good morning, friends. Welcome to today's vlog. Um, you hear the dryer in the background? That's right. Do you see stuff in the background? Probably. Hey, real life. I filmed two videos. Probably see one sometime. See one another time. <laughs> Show don't tell. Show don't tell. I wasn't really planning on vlogging today, but I guess I will. John just got home from the gym. He's gonna eat. He's finna eat. Uh, yeah, we're preparing. I'm leaving in two days to go to Texas. I'm sorry, excuse me? <laughs> but I'm really, really excited because I got to announce today that I'm gonna be doing like a meetup at the grand opening in Sherman at the mega store. I will leave details down below. Where? Make sure in Sherman, 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 Texas, it's close to Oklahoma. So all my Oklahoma friends come see me too. I'm really pumped. I, what? That's what they say. Oh. Or fucking horns, either ones. I know, okay. I'm really, oh, John. But, welcome to the vlog. Welcome! To the vlog. We had a cat on the house this morning. Uh -huh. Just wanna keep you guys updated. The cat is gone. It likes to do that. I don't know what kind of cat that is. Cat woman. Oh. Why it picks our roof. I think someone little is home. Is your sister home? Ah! Sister's home with my handsome man. Hey, Daddy. Today has been the best day. We hit 40,000 on Facebook. Oh, what? 40, <gasps> Hi. Congratulations on 40,000. Congratulations on 40,000. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I was just talking about that. They, it's because of you. They love you. There's nothing in there for you, sis. <laughs> Was that a real congratulations or was that just because daddy told you to? You guys, I do have a powder supplement that I've used for her, um, but she loves the Zarbies brand so much and I found this brand at Target. I can't say it too loud. And these are great and she eats them no problem. I, what were you afraid of? The stairs. You were afraid of the stairs? Why did it scare you? Why is it scary you my stairs? Was you just scared to fall? Scare you the fall. She watches our vlogs every day. It's why I'm very cautious about what I talk about um, in a lot of detail just because I know she'll watch and she understands. And as she was watching, she was like, I was scared of the stairs. And what was she looking for in a few minutes ago? She's like, the pig. She's like, I'm looking for it. I'm so stressed out. <laughs> now that is for sure like a scripting thing. I don't think she really understands what stressed out means quite yet. I hope because that would be a stinker. She's seven, but she's really, you guys, she's so smart and she understands so much. And I think the vlogs are good for her. She like, she relives the day every single time. Like this is literally what she does every single day when she comes home is watch her, the vlog. So hi Ella, hope you had a great day at school from future mommy. She just looked at me like I was crazy. Yep. You'll see it in tomorrow's vlog. So I've been getting a lot of questions about how Ella feels or if she reacts to me leaving or preparing for a trip. I haven't really talked to her much about it yet, but typically she doesn't really care, mostly because I tend to be the enforcer around here and she knows with daddy, she's surely gonna have a good time every time so she's never been sad that i've left should i be sad that she hasn't been sad that i've left i don't know maybe we'll tell her together ella come here where is rubber chicken you don't have a rubber chicken no i know it's so sad i, I know you want to buy it oh okay can i talk to you oh buy it rubber chicken well this is a good oh thanks buy rubber chicken hey mommy's gonna be going out of town on a trip by yourself without you and you're gonna be home with daddy is that okay you want do you want to buy a rubber chicken how about when mommy gets back from her trip look at me oh oh when mommy gets back from her trip maybe we'll buy rubber chicken on saturday when mommy gets back okay is that okay do you, are you gonna be sad do you want veggie straws <laughs> see what i'm saying i don't Where think the veggie straws go? <laughs> 
straws? You need to wait until we make your dinner and then you can have veggie straws. Also, I, remember how I showed you guys I just cleaned a room? What's the point, you know? Why? She really doesn't totally understand uh, when one of us leaves. That's with John or I. I. I think maybe she does. I can't really tell you. I don't know. Um, but she never has cried. They are going to be taking me to the airport together, so we'll see if she notices. But overall, she's kind of pretty chill when one of us leaves. She just kind of goes about her normal life, which is a blessing and also kind of makes me sad because I'm like, miss me. <laughs> but... Overall, she doesn't really care too much. As long as her needs are being met, she's good. But something I do like to do for John when I do leave, um, not that he's not good at it, but he's not good at it. <laughs> Sorry, babe, love you. Um, I pick out outfits for Ella for school days, especially. Weekends, he's got, honestly, and if I had left him on his own devices, he'd be fine. But I like to dress her a certain way and I have to make sure that all the pieces are left out and I put them together just so it's easier for him in the mornings because he is on just solo daddy duty for three days. So I do like to set him up for success. That way it's just easier for him and for her. It's less chaos because typically her drawers are not organized. There's no um, order in this. So it, it's very much a pain for me to do and especially for him to do, not knowing at all where things are. So I get Ella dressed every day, it's just what I do. So I'm going to figure out some outfits for the next few days and have them available to him so he does this one less thing, just one less thing. Well friends, this is where I leave you for today. Me in the back of me in the mirror. We'll pick you back up in the morning. Sleep tight. Good morning. I literally look like I don't know, like a Dallas, like, like like a Dallas, Texas, like I'm going to a baseball game, mama. Hat's an accessory, yeah. not a necessity. You should see my hair. Hi friends, oh, there's a lady right across from me, but oh well. I'm actually at the nail salon. I'm gonna get these fixed. The shape is a little Jersey Shore, nothing wrong with that, but like Jersey Shore is circa 2010. And I wanna like have a fresh, you know, feeling. <coughs> When I go, I leave tomorrow for Texas and I gotta say, I have the worst anxiety. Ella doesn't even care that I'm leaving. I don't think she truly understands when someone leaves though, but I'm nervous. I hate flying so much. I need to start being more positive. Like I love to travel, I love to fly because the reality is I'm going to be doing this a lot more. I know I am, so it's like. <laughs> I wasn't recording the whole time, really. I'm at my mom's. I brought her coffee. I got my nails done. And my nails girl, my nails girls, my nail girls always hype me up. Like, you look so skinny, you look so pretty. <sighs> Trying not to have a panic attack because I really don't want to fly. Mm. Huh? Bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> you look so cute when you have a hat on. Oh, thanks. I'm gonna miss you, I always do. I know, I miss you too. Your face is cold. My face is cold? Yeah, were you cold in the air condition? Probably. Your hands are cold. Oh, you're letting me hug you. Okay, let's not get crazy. I'm not an affectionate person. <laughs> Is that mean that I'm not affectionate? I think it's sociopathic, really. Don't even start that. That conversation we had this morning. If you guys haven't seen, SBSK did an interview on um, with a sociopath. He has, it's a, it's a disorder. Sociopath's kind of like the old school term for it, but. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like um, something diso disassociative personality disorder. Hmm. And not all sociopaths are killers. This is pretty. Where'd you get that? Target. Target. Oh, okay. What are you going to bring me back from Glitzy Girls? I don't know. What do you want? T-shirts. Gotcha. Carol Ann was on the website. Was she? Yeah. She was like, I don't know, it looks a little young for me. No, it's not. So I'll get a t-shirt. She said, I do like this, the slogans on the shirts. I'll get Carol Ann something. Yeah, she was worried that it looked too young. She's hip. I know she's hip. Carol Ann, you're hip. I know you're watching. Yes, Carol Ann, you're hip. I'm gonna get her something. Send yeah. me her size. My girl. Your reach, you're reaching people. And Kath, I think, has already ordered something or she was lusting after that sweater. That uh, rusted sweater. I should just give her the one I have now because I don't wear it anymore. Well, there you go. Will you close the 
Yeah. I love you. I'm just going on an airplane. I'm scared to death of flying. You'll be fine. I'll get over it. And your father's so excited to pick you up. I know, he asked me for my flight information. I know, we're so proud. We are so proud of you. So proud. Are my teeth white? They are. I've been whitening like a psycho and my teeth literally hurt to talk. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah. I am so proud Why of you. Why are you staring at me like that? Because I love you. Oh, okay. I'm like, what? What's on my face? Not taking affection well. I do. <laughs> Hi, friends. So I am finishing up packing. I'm going to be leaving bright and early in the morning tomorrow. We are pulling out, like we're pulling out of here. We're leaving at like 3.30 in the morning, which isn't a huge deal because Ella's usually, if she's not up, she'll be up soon after that. So we'll put her to bed a little bit more early tonight so that she can wake up around the same time we have to go. And then John is um, doing his own thing with her for the next few days. And I find myself having a lot of guilt. Like, I don't know. I was a stay-at-home mom for four years. The first four years of Ella's life. Every single day I spent with my child. Every single day. And then obviously when she started therapy, um, I did the commute back and forth every single day because John worked a full-time job. He's always, 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 always worked. And now it's my time to like work and do things to help our future and do things that I even want to do so this is just sometimes it's hard to like wrap my head around that this is my life I hate I hate flying and I keep saying and putting in the universe that I'm gonna really work on that um, because I have a feeling this is going to be happening so much more and I it stresses me out and I worry I'm like am I selfishly leaving my child because I want to go and do this thing for myself but it's also for my family so I'm having like some serious mom guilt I never ever like, I don't know. I just feel a little guilty. But I also feel super excited because this is like what life is supposed to be. Like, Ella is in great hands. She's per like she's perfect with her dad. I mean, it's not like I'm just leaving her at a babysitter and taking off. So it's just, I don't know, I'm feeling very guilty. If anybody has any tips for getting over the fear of flying other than seeing a therapist, which Dr. Bagovic told me to do for it. He's like, you should really, you know, it's been a while since I've had therapy. I like, if you guys, I literally have been in and out of therapy since I was like, since my parents got divorced. So like eight years old, I was when I first saw my first therapist. So I've had a lot of therapy, which has made me very self-aware, but also maybe I could benefit from some more since I'm now really struggling with my anxiety as far as like being scared of really irrational things. I'm scared of the most irrational things and I know it's irrational, but I still can't seem to like m jump over that hurdle. So I have some things to work out. Probably should work them out in therapy, but this helps talking about it helps. So yes, I'm having some mom guilt, but I'm also really excited to um, be able to have this opportunity to go and do something that is just for me. It literally is. It's for me. Yes. It helps my family and it's a job but it's also like a dream come true for a girl like me a girl who literally couldn't find clothes every single year we went school shopping my entire life we would have to drive hours to just find the one store that would fit me and now there's companies out there that are making clothing to fit me and then some and girls I know young girls have more access to clothing than I ever, ever did. So that makes my heart happy. And it's genuinely something I'm very passionate about is I really believe that all women should feel beautiful in what they're wearing and have access to clothes because regardless of your size, you can work towards losing weight or, you know, if you're comfortable at your size that you are, like you should still be able to clothe the body that you're in regardless. So in the way that you want, there should be options. So I, I, I am passionate about it. I think it's just incredible what they're doing for women of size. It's just amazing. So I'm going to soak in this opportunity and lifelong dream because it's literally, I've literally loved clothes and shopping my entire life. Ask anyone. It just, oh, I love clothes. I'm packing so light this time though. I learned a lot about packing. Okay, I feel better. Thanks for being my therapist guys. You guys are real the real ones. Thank you for that It's free therapy. It's so nice. Thank you for encouraging me to like live my dreams. You know how much this means to me. Uh, I know You'll pay for it when you get back What's that mean?
<laughs> you guys, I'm going to be taking you on this journey with me. I, I know I have friends that hate the word journey. Elle, can you turn it down, please? Well, hey, hey, don't stop believing. I'm going to be taking you guys along with me for this wild ride, and we're yes. going to experience it together. John and Ella are gonna do life here, and I'm going to try really hard to put my mom guilt to the side and have a good time. I really do appreciate you encouraging me because I'm like such a wreck, you guys. You have no idea. I hate flying. Yeah, she's only said it like 15 times about the plane crashing. and <laughs> It's not funny. I'll, <laughs> I'll make sure to play Alanis Morissette on the way to the airport. Stop! It's not funny. It stresses me out, and I know it's irrational, but it, it stresses me out. It stresses me out. I'm I just, sorry. I love my life so much and I love you guys. I would never want to leave this earth. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. Sorry if this vlog was super boring. More than likely it was. And um, bear with me because they're not all going to be this bad. It's just been a rough couple days of me trying to get my life together and not have a panic attack and not feel like the world's worst mom for leaving. There was a cat on the roof. How was that boring? It's true. There was a cat on the roof, right? That was exciting stuff. It was exciting stuff. How are you guys feeling about that? It was exciting stuff, right? It was exciting. It was the greatest vlog. Oh for each my other. gosh! Stop! You guys all encouraging him in the comments. I could really just like kiss you all right on the mouth. That's so good. Because he won't stop. Now he's perfecting it. So yay! <laughs> on that note, we'll see you guys tomorrow. What was that? In the greatest vlog of all time. What are you, a surfer? <laughs> like, what are you? Is that not good? No, that was terrible. Here we go. The Trump impression was the worst. It was absolutely terrible. This is my life. Maybe it's best I get on that plane, eh? You should get on that plane. <laughs> Hopefully it's an American-built plane, because they build the best planes. <laughs> they build the greatest planes of all time. Okay. We'll see you guys in Texas. Make sure you sit in first class in Southwest. Oh wait, they don't have one. The tea. It's okay, we love Southwest for us. We do. They love us fatties. Thick, the thickums with the five C's. Yeah. Miss you so much. Mommy's going on a trip. On in an her, airplane. And her favorite rocket ship. You're gonna go to school tomorrow, but you're gonna ride with mommy and daddy to the airport to drop mama off. I already told her that. How'd she handle it? She didn't care. She said vacation. And I was like, no, veggie mommy's straws. going. We're going to have to take her on the plane. Veggie straws. Yes, okay. dear. All right, back to mom life. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends. Bye. <laughs> Ella, you're going to poop your pants. Sounds like it's wet. <laughs>